What is going on guys, Snowball here, obviously, but uh, this game is actually going to be pretty fun, I got some nice little team death uh, fail with the Tomahawk here, I was hoping I could put that in my montage, but I couldn't, unfortunately, but uh, this game is actually pretty special for me here, pretty fun, as I pick up this guy's uh, sniper rifle here, and was it PSG1 I think it's called, but uh, I've never really used a sniper rifle before, and like the reason is because everybody who camps usually is using a sniper rifle or something like that and you know it's just I don't camp at all like I, I don't think that's part of the game I don't believe in it it's not I don't see any sort of fun in it at all but uh, sniper rifle is actually pretty fun especially because you can kill people pretty easily with it like that <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be doing some nice little I guess you can call it a quick scoop I don't know but I've never really use a sniper rifle before but it's pretty fun I do get one quick scope in here which is actually pretty funny the guy did scare the shit out of me but y'all see that later and uh but I don't know I might take this second out to talk about a guy that actually left me a message here on YouTube and he, his name is Mr. Morgan and so he makes videos and everything like that and okay don't get me wrong guys I'm, I'm gonna like give shout outs to like everybody and all that oh yeah here comes this quick scope here in a minute but I fail on the first one <laughs> But, uh, I'm not gonna be, like, giving shout-outs to everybody. It's like, hey, man, can you give me a shout-out? And I'll be like, okay. But this guy's actually a friend of mine. Even though, look at that. Let's watch it in slow motion. <laughs> First ever quick scope for snowballs. But, uh, this guy's actually a really good friend of mine. And, you know, I, I've never, even though I've never met him in real life, I, I do talk to him all the time here on YouTube. And, uh, he's got some really good videos. Like, you know some awesome kill streaks and stuff like that on his games and he has a variety of stuff too it's not like he just posts up one game and that's it you know but uh he's consistent with it also and so i just wanted to kind of give this guy a shout out and uh, i'll put a link in the description of his channel if y'all guys want to go visit that but i'm not gonna like say go do it now or or better subscribe or stuff like that but you know i'm just telling you guys if y'all want to check it out go ahead if y'all don't then uh, sorry, I can't really do anything about it, but look at this guy camping over here. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here, dumb shit. That's one thing, I don't know, there's just a couple things in this game that's been really pissing me off. And I actually tried to talk about this in a live com, but right after that my computer crashed, so unfortunately I <laughs> can't post it up or anything like that. But, I just wanted to talk for a second about a couple things about this game that really does piss me off, and maybe we can change it. Uh, first of all, fuck, I hope I, alright, hold on, sorry guys, I really had to clear my throat just now, so I had to pause this commentation, sorry about that guys, but, look at this guy camping up here on the rock, but, you know, it seems to me like 80% of people on this freaking game are all camping, and you got guys with Ninja Pro, Ghost Pro, with the FAMAS and Silencer, and they're sitting in a corner, and just waiting. Or sitting on top of a rock like this guy and just waiting. I find that to be so annoying. And, you know, I can handle the ninja. I can handle the ghost. It really doesn't bother me that much. Because, you know, I'm moving around. I'm seeing people. And I do play with the headset so I can hear people. But even if they are using ninja, you know, I have Marathon Pro. So and it's not like they're going to be able to keep up with me anyways. But was, I finally got a chopper gun on this map. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, I get shot down. But uh, it's not like they're going to be able to like keep up with me anyways if they're trying to chase me or something. But, you know, people using Ninja and stuff like that, it really doesn't bother me because I'm still going to find them eventually because I'm not going to camp on this game. I really don't think that's the point of the game at all. I don't see any fun in camping at all. So, you know, I'm one to be moving around and running around a lot and always having the joystick pushed forward. But, you know, to me, I think campers are the type of people who can't control two joysticks at once. And like Ask a Capper, but you know, he has an excuse for it. He's handicapped, so you know, if I were to play against him, I wouldn't be pissed off at all. I know he has to do that. But uh I don't know guys, that one thing that pisses me off is that people are camping and I do have a solution to that is uh you know, I don't know if it's possible or anything like that and people at Treyarch or Infinity Ward probably don't even watch my videos anyways, but one of the solutions I had was actually to you know, we have Blackbird in here in this game, and that's the first time that Blackbird has been brought into Call of Duty. 
and it, usually whenever a kill streak is brought in, it's continued to the next kill. Uh, not kill streak, sorry. It's continued to the next Call of Duty. That's usually that seems how you know it's been for the past three, four at least. But um, anyways, guys, I was actually thinking, you know, you have hardcore team deathmatch, which back whenever I played Call of Duty Four, well, that's the game that I started out with. Everybody was camping on hardcore, but in team in regular team deathmatch, nobody was camping. And I'm thinking. Why don't you just go to hardcore if you want to camp? You know, it's like a one-shot kill. It's it's a lot easier, and obviously, people who camp just aren't good at the game at all. So therefore, they should go down to somebody else on their level. And you know, it, it just pisses me off. But one of the solutions I had was to uh, actually, like, if you say you have a radius, say you're sitting at this barrel right here for more than 15 seconds, then you're gonna show up on the map as a blackbird for say. Mm, another 15 seconds so you got you know 30 seconds right there that people can see you or 15 with the blackbird but I mean that would kind of minimize most of the camping some people would probably still be camping and just saying like oh I want people to find me and you know that's whatever they're gonna end up dying anyways but oh, look at that fucking see those they had they actually had two guys camping over there but so far 20 and 2 but the second thing that pisses me off is uh, is fucking a uh, second chance and, you know, that's just something that they really got to do away with because you have all these people complaining, oh my god, the FAMAS is overpowered, or oh my god, you're playing with the 74U, I don't see a point in even watching this gameplay, this is stupid, that gun is way too overpowered. And I'm just like, alright, whatever, you know, fucking don't watch it then. But, I mean, I think that the people complaining about the guns being overpowered are the ones using second chance because they think that they don't have a fucking... A, a good enough chance to kill somebody with a powerful gun so they run a second chance I haven't even unlocked second chance and I'm level 50 and I'm not playing into prestige again and I'm probably never gonna fucking unlock that shit because I don't see the point of it at all it's fucking dumb but uh actually look at this guy right here this is actually pretty funny uh, I'm actually gonna pull this out into theater mode too so you can see this I lost this guy and he actually got me pretty good this was actually pretty funny but whenever I rewatched it but even though he was camping I was just like whatever but you know, that's two things that really pisses me off in this game, and, you know, it's just, I can handle the ghost, I can handle the ninja, and all that stuff, but, you know, the camping, just, I wish could be minimized, like, back in Call of Duty 4, it was amazing, and the second chance is just bullshit, but, uh, actually, guys, uh, I, I talked to my dad, who's, he's back in America, and so, probably in about two weeks, I'm gonna get my Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 back from him, so he's gonna send them over here. And, you know, as I said before, I'm actually planning to do an open lobby once I hit 200 subs. And hopefully it can be on Call of Duty 4. So here you go, guys. 24, or 22 and 4 with a 2-bar connection. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as I fail to rage quit the lobby. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just going to commentate over this black screen now. Sorry if my audio sounds different. I had to edit the black screen in. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to quickly tell you after that awesome, spectacular, amazing gameplay <laughs> that, um, yeah, my parents are sending me my Call of Duty 4 uh, to me because I've been really wanting to play that game, and I've been here for a while now. But uh, once I hit 200 subs, I'm planning to do an open lobby. And the reason I picked 200 is because, uh, you know, I think that's a good enough number to for people to actually show up you know enough people because I want over 10 people in the lobby so that would that would be really cool but hopefully you guys have Call of Duty 4 because we're probably gonna go into private uh, lobby into old school mode and if you know not that many people have Call of Duty 4 then we'll just pick the majority of games that people have because I got every game from 4 to Black Ops and so what is that four games I guess yeah but, uh, you know, the majority of ones that people have, is that'll be the one we play. And we don't have to be in a private match. We can go out and have some fun in regular games or whatever like that if y'all want to. It depends on how many people show up. If I have over 10 people, which I hope, then we're going to be doing some infection games and stuff like that and some private uh, matches. And I can lay the rules out for you guys like that if y'all don't know it because uh, I've been playing that some uh, every now and then. So hopefully you guys have Call of Duty 4. If y'all don't, you should definitely get it. <laughs> but, um... But hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I've been way over commentating it now, so I guess have a good day. If you like the game, please give it a thumbs up. If not, still love you. Bye.